Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm back today with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club Design Team. For this page, I have used the awesome Macrame Dreamcatcher cut file and July 2021 kits. To begin with, I cut a white cardstock with clear gesso to prepare the page for inks. Once everything is dry, I stick the Dreamcatcher directly on the back room as well as the feathers. I cut out the design with my Silhouette Cameo in watercolor paper, but with the cardstock it will work too. The pattern measures approximately 7.5 by 5.5 inch. You may know that I love this technique which allows you to create an original background with raised patterns. So that's what I'm going to do here. Once everything is well glued, I apply clear gesso by making circular movement to distribute the primer evenly. When everything is dry, I can apply the inks. I'm starting with the Chimmers Inkling Sunkist ink from the color kit. I apply this ink with a brush all over the place and with a little water, I run the inks and I spread it. So I add shimmer spreads, your the zest ink here and there but the color is too light. So I add shimmer Vibes mustard seed ink and with a little water I spread the ink and I let the inks mix and thus create nuances. I also add shimmer Vibes sweet hearts and I add the mustard ink again and widen the ink area at the level of the feathers. I apply the ink randomly. I really like this color combo which mixes very well with each other. Um, I apply the ink mainly on the dream catcher and the feathers. I blur the edge of the drip catcher and the feathers and I dry everything well to fix the color. I continue and will intensify the colors with the Chimmer's Cremes Very Hot ink from the color kit that I apply here and there and I also add the Chimmer's Vibes Mango Tongo ink by alternating and mixing the two inks. I also add the mustard seed ink and always with a little water I spread the inks and I let them mix. With a piece of absorbent paper I blur the edge of the feathers to have mainly the ink on them and so that they stand out well from the background. I splash ink all over the place and dry it all over again. I still need to intensify the colors, so I add the same inks all over the place at random.
I still splash ink before I dry everything well and this time the color suit me. So I continue with another dream catcher identical to the one at the back room and I will stick on each ray of the white DMC thread to give the illusion of a real dream catcher. I tried to sew the rays with my sewing machine but the rays are too fine and I was not successful. So I had this very simple and quick idea but it really gives the illusion I wanted. You saw just apply glue on the ray and stick the thread on it. And I do this on all the rays and around the dream catcher. I didn't film you everything because it would have taken too long but here is the result. I love the texture it brings and especially this illusion of a real dream catcher that I wanted. I really love this stuff. I now turn to the layouts. I place the dream catcher on the back room and I add the photo on it. Then I add flowers that I created with the exclusive flip flops cut file cut from the beautiful mystery pattern paper from the exclusive flourish collection by Kim and Kimberly. I cut them out in three different sizes to make three big flowers of three flowers each. I also cut the feathers out of the same pattern paper to arrange some with the big flowers by turning them over to have the yellow pattern and the other feathers and flowers. I place them on the background feathers. And here is the main layout that I will be making. So I start with the photo, I add crumpled tracing paper underneath to add texture and blur the edges. I use double sided tape for this tape. I add a piece of cardboard underneath to add volume once the photo is glued. I will now add 3D foam under each of the flowers and feathers. So for the flowers, I want to keep some petals. So I glue the petals with the 3D foam that I place on the petal and on the center of the flower. So the petal is maintained and I can lift the edges of the flower for a great effect of dimension. This step is still very long because there are a lot of flowers to do, so I move on. I distress the edges of each feather before gluing them with 3D foam on the background feathers by shifting them a little and thus let the background feather appear. And I add flowers with a yellow pattern on it.
So I'm going to assemble the flower to create my trio of large flowers. I add ready form therefore under each petals as before and then I glue them by three, one on top of the other from the smallest to the largest. And so I have three big flowers. It's quick a long time to do too, but I love these flowers and I love the flowery pages, so it's worth it. Once my trio of big flowers is done, I glue the dream catcher on the back room with 3D foam to create value. So I glue a lot of very thin piece of 3D foam under the dream catcher. Then I glue the dream catcher on the back room and I replace the photo, the big flowers and the feathers. So I add the title with the puffy alphabet from the main kit. I choose the word dreamer which corresponds perfectly with the cut file and with the photo of my loader in full reflection. I place the title along the dream catcher in an arc. I found it to be the perfect place here. I love taking pictures of my children and especially capturing their natural e expression. And I love this photo of my pensive, dreamy daughter by a river. So I then add another flower at the beginning of the title. And I glue the photo, then the trio of flowers. And I insert feathers with a yellow pattern around the flowers. So I place more flowers at the end of the title on the photo and I add more feathers in the big flowers and I glue it all. I go on and add white DMC3 to the Dreamcatcher rings to give the illusion here too that the feathers are attached to the Dreamcatcher like a real one. Then I make a sample knot in the right of the Dreamcatcher. I leave one 
half length and I tie the thread by making a simple knot also in the ring of the feather. And I put a dab of glue on the knots so that they don't come undone and I cut the threads that protrude. I repeat the operations with each feather. So I also add threads between the feathers, simple, tied to a ring of the dream catcher and with my fingernails I pinch the thread and pull outward so that it loops and if that doesn't work I use a scissor. You know, um, like to tie the knots in a GIF package. I love to do this. Yet another long step, but which I filmed in full so you can see how I did it. So I put a few dots of glue under the threads so that they don't move and to freeze the movement.
When this step is finished, I add some embellishments, but not too much because the page is already loaded. I add this beautiful mood veneer moon from the embellishment kit and a little pink ephemera heart from the main kit. I add a little yellow button flower on top of the big flowers to break up all that pink here a bit and add some cut wood veneer leaves. I add some pink buttons from the embellishment kit under the big flowers and in the center of the flower which is at the end of the title and I glue it all. So I need something else and I choose to bring shine with pearly white half pearls everywhere. I add a lot in the tenor of the flowers near the feather in a cluster of three half pearls of different size and then near the tidal on the photo well everywhere. I finish with splashes of white gesso diluted with a little water to harmonize everything. And this page finally ends. This video is quite long but there is a lot of step. I love the result, it's really what I had in mind and I'm happy to have achieved it. A colorful girly page with a poetic twist. Hope you liked this layout and can be inspired for a future project. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish you a beautiful day full of creativity. See you soon.